Blog Talk Radio. All right, it's Sunday night, and we're here for our third installment of our solar cooking show. Tonight, we have solar cooking with Mary Bravell. Uh, and welcome, Mary, as in M E R R Y, that's how you spell her first name. So, welcome to our podcast here. How are you today? Hi, thank you. Now, Mary, uh, yes. now, Mary you, you've got a website. As a matter of fact, what is the name of your website? My website is Sunshine on My Shoulder, and it's at www.sunshineonmyshoulder.com. All right. And now, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started cooking it, and that lead that back to the website. I got interested in it because my husband and I used to go to craft shows. And I'd be sitting out there, and it would be so hot, and I'd think, gee, there must be a way to cook something out here to eat. So I went to the web and started researching it, and surprised that I wasn't the first one to think of it. I thought, oh, this is something I've thought of. But in fact, there was a whole universe, a whole you know, Internet full of, of solar cookers. And so I, that's how I became interested in it. Since then, I've branched That's, out into turkeys, pies, all kinds of things. Now, tell us about that. I've never, never done a pie or a cake or anything like that. What t- give, walk us through that experience. Well, I find that baking in the solar oven is really not all that different from baking in my oven. Most of the, you know, like a GSO or the sport, they get pretty high temperatures, so it's not terribly different than cooking in my oven. Now, what's the most exotic thing you've uh, you've uh, solar? Exotic thing? Well, I tell you what I really like to do at shows, and that is bake a pumpkin. Because I take a whole pumpkin, you know, just a whole one from the supermarket, I wash it, and I put it in my bag, and I put it right into the solar oven. Uh, or if I'm in a GSO, it doesn't need a bag. You just put it in there absolutely whole. Okay. And it will right. cook. It, it will cook, and it will bake. And when you take it out, then it's soft. You can just peel the the outer skin off, cut it open, scoop out the insides, and the the meat that's left is tender and easy to mash up. You can use it for pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, pumpkin whatever, pumpkin cookies. Easy, and it's it's just. People think, can you bake a pumpkin and can you bake it whole? And the answer is yes. It's easy that way. It's the best that way. Okay. Now, I'm on your website, sunshineonmyshoulder.com. What are you looking at? Well, now let's see. Now, we've got, well, I'm going from left to right. Uh, Let's see, kids in the solar, because kids, they would have liked solar cooking once they're aware of it. Um, You explain that link. Uh, oh. The kids in the solar kitchen links are because so many teachers and parents would ask me, well, is, that sounds great, but what's easy enough for my kids to bank? And so all of the kids in the solar kitchen recipes are kid-friendly you should be able to do with your children. So okay. some of those things are um, making cakes in the mug, these little quick pizza crackers that are on here, that's really just kind of another heat and eat thing. You take a, a Ritz cracker, put some mozzarella, I mean some, you know, the pizza sauce on it, a mozzarella cheese and a pepperoni, heat it up. It's pretty, pretty tasty. We used to do that in the microwave. Now I could do it in the solar oven just as easy. How often yes. do you solar cook? Because it seems like it's a lifestyle for you. Well, I would love to do it every day, and I would if I could. But because of my work schedule, it usually leaves me cooking on the weekend. So two or three days a week is what I cook. Well, that's that's a pretty um, fair amount. That's so, a pretty fair amount. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to deal with uh, you're saving money when you're cooking solar cooking, obviously. Exactly. Um, and okay, now let me go to 
Let's go to beef. Um, okay, barbecue. Oh, man. I need to come down to Arizona and eat at your place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> barbecue, barbecue beef on the butt. Okay. Tell us how you did. Oh, God. This, I wish I could drop through this screen. God, this looks good. All right. How did you so prepare this one? The, the barbecue beef? Well, I yeah, did it just the way my yeah. just just the way my mother taught me when I was growing up in Texas. I cut that beef up into small chunks and I added some barbecue sauce, a little bit of water, only instead of putting it into a pressure cooker or into a crock pot, I put it in my solar cooker, I let it simmer all day. Then once it was good and cooked, you shred that beef apart and then you simmer it again in the sauce. After that, you hmm. put it on top of a bun, add a big old slice of red onion, and you've got yourself a Texas barbecue beef on a bun. Now, what what part of Texas are you from? I grew up, I was born in Amarillo, grew up in Wichita Falls. Uh, now, you, you mentioned that you do shows, trade shows, I guess. Well, not really trade shows because, you know, I don't sell any cookers. I just go to, I have a couple of uh, places I give demonstrations at. I've given them to women's groups, to scout groups and school groups. I've given one for uh, City of Mesa. I did one for the City of Glendale, participated in that. did one for a couple of stores around the town, those kind of things. So you can catch me giving demonstrations. I like doing that. It's just promoting right. the, promoting solar cooking. Uh, you also mentioned poultry. Because poultry. Um, I think on you got a picture of a roasted chicken in one of them, right? Yes. Yes, I love doing that roasted chicken. It just stands so up what? really nice and pretty on the pan. I just pat it down dry, rub some dry rub on it for seasoning, set it in the pan, and then put it in the solar oven. It takes about three hours. Well, we got a bunch of calls in now. Area code 940, you're on air? 740, that's me. Okay, 940, you can ask uh, ask a question, please. I just wanted to say I am enjoying this show. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I agree. I could, I, I could not resist calling, and I'm going to go now. Love, love to both of you. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right, bye. Thanks for calling. For a person who, because what we try to do through our Facebook website, I mean, our forum, rather, is um, educate. So for a yes. person who's hearing this stuff for the first time, or they've heard about it, but they've never done it, um, any suggestions other than, well, I guess the first thing they might want to do is go to your website. Right. You'll go to All the right. website. You'll get a lot of good ideas. They'll teach you about the kind of pots you need, how to position your oven, different things like that. Mostly you just need to get an oven, but once you get it, you need to pull it out of the box and use it. All right. Well, Mary. Anyway, so give uh, for people that want to contact you with more information. Um, give your information out again. Sunshine on my shoulder at www.sunshineonmyshoulder.com. All right. Well, uh, thank you, Mary, for uh, coming on because you just thank joined you so our forum this me. morning. So thank you for coming on, and uh, everybody go to her website, uh, sunshineonmyshoulder.com, and there's a wealth of information there along with recipes. And Great. you have a that terrific week, and thank you again. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye.